Hello friends, this is Shivam and you are watching the fourth tutorial of the series of data analysis using Python. In this tutorial, we will just see the advanced actions of PAP of Pandas in the in the previous lecture in the in the previous tutorial. We will just see the basic applications of Pandas like we just imported the the Pandas library and then we just see the two common types of representing representing data in pandas like series and data frame and we just performed basic operations on the series like the mathematical operations on series logical operations on series and then we use the various functions like apply as type and then we just we just implemented or we just created a data frame using pandas and then we just filtered we just done some filtering using the pandas and we just defined some columns and then we used various functions like map and drop and so in this and again we we just use the, the filtering operations in python and uh, and then we plotted a scatter plot using the pandas so so these were the basic operations that we performed with the help of pandas in this tutorial we will be we will be um, implementing some advanced options using panda so just let so let's get started no. so first of all we will import the data data set the same data set that uh, the same data set that we imported in the last tutorial the movies data set and uh, let's import it and first of all we will be importing the required libraries and as uh, as pd and uh, and now we will be just importing the data as the movies so pd dot read csv pd dot read csv and we will just read the data from the http source and uh, the link is bit dot ly dot ly ly imdb ratings imdb ratings ratings so we have just load the data and now we will perform some basic tasks just we, we will try to just explore the data set that we just loaded so let's see the very first columns of the data move with the help of dot head command and you can see these are the various the six the five rows the first five rows of the movies data set you can see these are the title of the movies this is the rating this is the content rating and this is the genre this, this is the duration and this is the list of the actors so now we will describe the summary statistics for the movies data set with the help of describe command and uh, you can see you can see that there are only two columns it shows the summary statistics for only two columns of the movies data set because the dot describe command only shows statistics for the continuous variables you can see that the star rating and the duration are only the two continuous variables in the data set so you can see the various summary statistics for the movies columns like star rating and duration you can see the count mean standard deviation various other variables so now in the next step we will just try to print the we will just try to print the shape of the of the data frame movies dot movies dot shape movies dot shape oops movies dot shape so you can see that there are 979 rows and there are six columns in the movies data set now we can also check the data types of the of the data set with the help of movies dot data types command and you can see that the following that these are the 
data types of the different variables of the movie's data set like the star rating is float 64 title content rating and genre these are the objects and again the duration is an int 64 and again the actors list is an object so so these this is the method of just basic examination of data that you have just loaded now now we will try to sort the the movies we will try to sort sort the title the title in the ascending order let's try to do it in the ascending order let's see how we do it now we can do this with the help of movies dot title you can see title title with the help of dot sort values command dot sort values command and we just also need to show the head of the data set for this command and you can see that these are the these are the top five movies and we have arranged them sort them in the on the basis of their title and you can see that you can see that these are the f uh, f five five movies from the top in the same way you can see the the movies from the bottom like with the help of dot tail command movies dot title dot show values no show sort values dot tail tail command movies no title show values oops so you can see these are the movies these are the movies from the uh, bottom and we just we just are uh, visualizing the the last last uh, last five movies when they are ascend when they are they are sorted on the basis of title so yeah, so this is the way to sort the values now we can just now now we will again try to sort the data frame based on the content rating and then by the the duration we can do this by the following command movies dot sort values and we just want to Short the movies based on the content rating as well as on the duration. So we can do this with the help of the by content content rating content rating and as well as on the basis of duration duration. Yes, we want to just print the first five six rows. So you can see that, that these are the movies which are being sorted on the basis of content rating as well as on the duration and uh, you can also see the ta see the last five entries last five entries with the help of dot tail command over here and you can see that the rating is 7.6 and duration is 78 so minimum rating and minimum duration is there and uh, so this is the way to sort movies based on the multiple filtering so now in the next step we will just try to to filter those movies out which have the duration of at least 200 minutes so let us try to create a function for that we will not be using pandas for this and we will just try to create a function create a function or create a list for the, for it we will just create a list which contains contains movies movies which are okay we which are which are of duration greater 
greater than 200 minutes 200 minutes actually we will try to create our list of a boolean list which will just uh, which will just show true for the movies which have the duration greater than 200 minutes and false for the movies which which do not have the the duration greater than 200 minutes so let us just try to do it we will just create a create a, a list known as the boolean so now we will define a for loop for loop so for length for length in movies dot duration for length in movies dot duration if length is greater than or equal to 200, 100, then booleans, booleans dot append with the true. Now, else 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 booleans else okay booleans dot append with false false so so we have just created a for loop and a list so let us see the what is the length of this list booleans I hope it should be 979 because we have 979 entries or rows so yeah it is so we have just created a list of true and false that is booleans and true for the movies which are of duration greater than 200 minutes and false for the movies which are lesser than 200 minutes duration so let us try to to see the first five elements of this list yeah so it is so it is this. so only from the first five entries we have just the third entry of the, the movie which has the duration greater than 200 minutes now now we will convert this list to the series a series we can we can also convert this uh, this list to a series but now we will just try to use so 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 this is the thing that we did with the help of a for loop function now now let us see what we can do with the help of pandas to filter out the movies which are greater than 200 minutes duration so now let's see how pandas do it so now let's see how pandas do it or or let us analyze it some more like we can we can created we can convert this list to a to a series like is long is long so is equal to pd dot series pd dot series and booleans booleans and let us check out the first entries of this is long is long dot head dot head and you can see that this is the list that we just created and we have converted it to a series and it is the is long now we will just try to append or we will just try to to tell the data frame that which rows the movies has to display so we will just use the filtering the simple filtering using the is long attribute we have just provided is long as the attribute and let us see what it is so now it has just returned a data frame a data frame of movies which are greater than the duration of 200 minutes now now you can see that you can see that uh, first of all we defined a list and then we created a for loop and in that for loop 
what we did we we stored the booleans that is true and false for the different movies of different durations and uh, then we, we converted this uh, boolean boolean to a series to a panda series and then we just filtered our movies data frame based on that series so now let us see how we can perform this task this task using using the pandas filtering so now let's see how we will perform this task using pandas filtering so movies 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 dot rating movies dot ra dot duration 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 the duration is greater than equal to 200 and press enter and there and there you can see with the help of python library pandas we have just deleted we have just shortened these number of steps to a single line of code and the same output we get we are getting from this from here so this is the power of pandas and you can see that how the data analysis has has been very easy with the help of pandas so here you can see that and uh, and now you can see that so basically these are the tasks that that we can do with the help of pandas we can do the various data manipulation and data analysis tasks with the help of pandas and pandas are very powerful and widely used libraries library for the data analysis tasks so i hope this video is useful thanks for watching please subscribe thanks